What's going on? This is Shang, and I wanted to say this is Savage AF, brought to you by the world famous Lab Factory. You know, say powered by yo, just waiting for Pedro to get on, and we'll, me and him power and the shit. Um, make sure that you um, check us out when he jumps on. I'll make sure you do that. Savage AF, you know all the people that have been following us. Make sure you keep following us. We talking about all the things that's going on in the world. A lot of brothers is not doing that, but that's what our show does. Waiting for what's going on with everybody. What's going on? We talk about the things that go on because sometimes we so busy caught up with motherfuckers twerking, we ain't caught up with what's actually going to affect our lives the way it's supposed to affect them. And that's what I'm saying. There go Black Pedro right there. It's been a interesting. Pe Pedro have been um, ramping up to make sure that you guys get as much cool stuff from Savage AF. That's what's gonna happen. He's gonna be, he's somewhere. I don't know where he's at. He's, there he is. He's getting, I guess he's getting something to sip on real quick. And uh, then we will, we will jump right into this craziness. This has been a crazy fucking week and a crazy time. So crazy we time. will do that. Uh, it's a crazy time. He'll give you the information about the podcast version while I do this pen. And uh, let's, we're gonna get it started with Savage AF. This is what it is. Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all? What's going on? So uh, if you don't know by now, <laughs> Savage AF is a podcast as well. We're not just here on Instagram Live Monday through Friday, but we are also uh, available wherever you get your podcasts. iTunes, Google Play, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Spotify. Yes, so Spotify. Make sure you guys a lovely, get in there. Spotify, and, a lovely place. Lovely. <laughs> And the show is like drugs, so you got to share it. Because if you do this too much, it, it'll kill you. This show will kill you, okay? It's yeah. very potent. Very potent shit. Uncut, raw. <laughs> you know, them, that China white. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, boom. Cheers to y'all. Bar is open. Um, so, uh, yeah. And speaking of I IG Live, we're on it right now. Uh, for those who are listening to the podcast version, that's what's going on live. Uh, and uh, we're here Monday through Friday. Now, Mondays and Fridays, today's a Friday, so that's why we're on 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday yeah. and, fr and Friday. All right, Tuesday through Thursday, we're on 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so that's how we do that, y'all. Yes, um, yes, that's yep. how we do that. Savage AF. And um, I've, I've pent the information down. Make sure you pick up, if you get a chance, a Savage AF t-shirt or a Savage AF mask. You know, don't be average, be savage. That's what we say here, you know what I'm saying? And we like to appreciate, let you know we appreciate the savage nation that fucks with us. We know that you are crazier than us. So that is good that our crazy came together you know? to make that. Look at this. This is a pyramid of crazy. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what happened. And speaking yes. of crazy, they're all here. Uh, Elaine K4, JD Line Pat, all the crazy ones. Art of Breeze. A lot of crazy. Uh, breezy J of breezy JJ's, <laughs> Nikki FSU. Oh, yeah. A lot of nutty. Lady lot Hazel Nutty Mate, Buddies. Out of her goddamn yeah. mind. Sexy Puerto Rican. Goddamn. A lot of Nutty Buddies follow yeah, but that's us. That's why we love y'all. And we appreciate your nutty ass. Goddamn, y'all nutty. Nutty, that's why we nutty love buddy. Man. So, yeah. This is a place for nuttiness, for stupid, stupid, stupidness, um, but intelligently yes. presented intelligently. Sexy so. Y, sexy Y underscore Puerto Rican, Puerto, Puerto Rican, sexy Puerto Rican underscore Rican, Rica. Yeah, I fucked that up, but yeah, she's in here. She's in the building. Never, What's going on, everybody? I never read everybody? the underscores, man. I never read the underscores. I'm like, fuck it. Yeah, I just I go. Yeah. Uh, but oh, listening here we go, from we got listening from London. What's the topic today? We got a few topics. What's going on? What's up? What's London? going on? I've, I've been, I can't do it perfect, but I've been in London many times and I've done shows there. I did um, Brixton. I did the uh, Lewisham Empire, Hack, Hack the Empire, uh, Junglers, and I did the Comedy Store in Piccadilly Square. So it was nice. It was a nice time and they treated me quite nicely. I'm the Shropshire <laughs> Slasher. That's all I know. <laughs> I'm the I know, I just, slasher. I, it's such a stereotypical. Hello, right? This is what we're you know, talking about, right? This is it, right here, here. right? <laughs> chim chimini, chim chimini, chim chimini. I know, it sounds so stereotypical. It's like, hey, right, we step in time. Who wants to play you. soccer? We love you, London. Come back. Don't leave us. Yeah, we do. Absolutely. <laughs> no doubt. All right, so uh, speaking of which, man, let's get into the show, dog. Savage AF. Man, you know what? This is uh, this some shit going on. <laughs> I mean, you give them the run up, but it's, it's just, it seems like every day some new crazy shit is done. 
Yeah, people getting almost ran over by a car and, and Times Square uh, protesters that weren't rioters, protesters, uh, you know, okay. legally protesting. Yeah. And, and it's this car, they was almost ran them over. So it's a wild world. Right. I need but to we're going to give you the run up. It's that. a wild ass world. Yes. Yeah, this show is going to run up on your ass. So we start from the bottom and then we get to the top, y'all. So at the bottom of the show, we're going to end today talking about Vote Texas uh, and the ways that you can. Vote early, vote safely, and uh, according to the president, vote often. <laughs> but yes. uh, <clears throat> before we get into that, you got vote early would be the one I want to say. I want to say it in very uh, dramatic. Yes. Vote early. Okay, I want you to do that. Yeah. All right. Early. You so, must vote uh, early. <laughs> but before we talk about vote Texas, we, uh, we're going to talk about, we're going to warn you not to be a three day dummy. All right, it's a holiday weekend. Uh, you know, Monday's Labor Day. Stay your ass at home. We're going to talk about it. Uh, kicked off. Something we're going to talk about before that. Uh, as in. Oh, this is just, this is so funny to me, but this is going to be a short topic. NCAA <laughs> football has kicked yeah. off. We're taking bets on how long before it shuts back down. Um, now, before yeah, we get that's into that. Easy one. Yeah. I'll take the under on that. Um, but before yeah, we get into that. that we're, I'm going to take the under. Uh, a lie or a, a lie? That's the question. Uh, this insurgence of white faces into the Black Lives Matter movement, is it real? How long is it going to last? History tells us otherwise. I read a great article in uh, LA Times uh, talking about this. But before we get into that, speaking of articles, Savage AF right here, follow at Comedian Shang and myself at Black Pedro. Follow and at Black at Pedro and Radio. make sure you subscribe too. Make, and at Savage AF Radio, yeah. we need you to rock out with that too. But thank you guys so much. And thank you for adding on to, I know we're not supposed to use Facebook, but I'm saying it. Thank you for, we had 106 people um, add in the past two days and we had 246 total um, from the, I mean, checking today um, from Tuesday. So yeah. uh, thank you very much for all you people jumping on and adding and getting the information. We appreciate you. Yes, yes, yes. And J.D. Line Pat, she's right on top of uh, our first topic today. She said, Trump got caught saying dead veterans were losers. Um, this is a story that came out of uh, the magazine The Atlantic. Um, so I'll start off by saying I absolutely have no doubt that he would, he would say something like this, right? Like, it's absolutely, he's such a whole fart that he would absolutely allow ill winds like this to come out of his ass mouth. But the problem with this Atlantic uh, article for me is, and, and this is part of the criticism, is that it cites four anonymous sources um, as, as having, you know, verifying that Trump says this. And, and that he says that, you know, dead soldiers were losers or whatever, dead Marines. Um, <laughs> I'm like, man, you know, something like that. And that, that's a problem with a, a bit of reporting these days is that we get a lot of anonymous sources. And with something well, like this, I would, I, would love, I would love for one of these motherfuckers to stand up and be like, you know, I was there. Uh, was two, I saw two, of them said that two of them came out and also there were oh, two other have? military cats. Yeah, I was watching MSNBC and then I turned to CNN to double check. And maybe, it, you know, it might be, you know, CNN and MSNBC just, you know, on one, but... Yeah, they said two of the sources are absolutely going to speak out. They're going to have them on later today. And the other two uh, military cast that said, yeah, he absolutely positively talked like that. He absolutely that. And they showed footage of him talking that way, pretending to John McCain, where he was, he was saying well, flat we out. That. Like, we all well, saw that. We saw that. So it showed a, a pattern. It was, they, they put a collage together of stuff he said that was right in the same vein of what the Atlantic – said um, of him calling people losers in the military. Why would they do that? They didn't get paid for it. They're suckers and all that other stuff. So it, everybody that knows him, one of the generals came out and said, yeah, he absolutely was saying it. Um, and then uh, the other two generals that you would think come out and say something, had a mad dog that came out and said he did. Said, he said stuff like that. That's why he stopped fucking with him. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, I, mad dog, yeah, yeah. I forget his last name, mad dog something. <laughs> I see Sean in the building. The, Berm the Bermuda two are here. So I so I didn't know that um, some of those sources had had revealed themselves. Yeah. But just from a, a reporting standpoint, 
you know, I see, and I, I get why, especially in this administration or, or around it, would not, uh, you know, necessarily want to come out because, you know, he's a, a malicious child and goes after people and and he sends his people after and Yes, I said besmirch. I said besmirch. Okay, he's man, right. you ain't. Look, first off, Words first off, I, any you know good Negro should not. Don't be you speaking. ever speak that way to people again. That that kind of language will not be tolerated on its fucking I'm, show. God damn okay. It. Don't you ever say that word, besmirch. Yeah, you know what? You need to get it together. What's the next word? In intrinsical? If you say intrinsical, yeah, I swear to God, that's like a smack across the face of every veteran in this country. <laughs> it's okay, man. It's it. Yeah, no, I just said intrinsical. I, 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 try I and heard that on the news. And I went, wow, nice word, you. But, but that was nice word, you just besmirch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, but he besmirches people's names, you know what I mean? Um, so I, I get why people aren't necessarily wanting to uh, come out all the time. But with something like this, uh, you, even for the Atlantic, I'm like, I mean, for, I, I get that they're reliable sources to you, but like, just for the general public, we, we, we like, name one motherfucker. Tell come me. On. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but, yeah, come but, on, but, um, Mattis, that's his name, Mattis. Mattis is one of them. One of them. I'm sorry. I, it yeah, just yeah, hit yeah. me. It's mad. They call him Mad Dog Mattis, but he's General Mattis. Thank yeah. you. That's it. I'm, I'm, my bad. <laughs> yeah. People are like, uh, what? Did you have a brain what? fart? Mattis! <laughs> it was Mattis! <laughs> it, that, it, that's what he's it was. got name to it. But, um, but again, you know, I don't put it. And, you know, obviously, Trump D. Dumpty has denied that he said anything like this. But like you said, we, we, we've heard him speak like this of people. This is his mentality. Uh, he called John McCain basically a loser because he got captured, you know what I mean? He was like- Yeah, he did, he flat out yeah, said he that. got captured. Uh, I like guys that don't get captured, you know what I mean? It, it's, that's just a weird thing to say. Um, you know, am I blurry? Uh, so, am I blurry on the screen? A little bit, every now and then. You get a little Why pixels, the it's all good. Yeah, it's clear as, it's clear no, it's as like, day, I'm like, looking at it. It's like, pix it's a little bit of pixelations every now and then, but you, you're good right now. Right now you're good. Um, but yeah, man, so, I, I while I don't doubt the Atlantic, I would I would just like to see more sources named in general because we get a lot, especially during this administration, we get a lot unnamed source says Trump sticks brooms up his ass, and I totally believe that. I just like is it the janitor? Who who like you know what I mean like so who's in charge of the brooms and they know they up his ass? You know what I mean? Like I just want to know. So that that you know it 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 would make arguing. <laughs> Or, or you know, this material, it, it would make it more noteworthy, or I guess just more substantial. If you it would, and it all, but you would think it would work with the right wing. Exists. Yeah, you you think it would work with the right wing, but it doesn't matter. Uh, just don't move. Wow, I don't yeah, know what's like going when on. You move, then he goes into get, get, okay, but it's all good, man. We, so I'm not moving. Message, I'm gonna keep my head. I'm gonna keep my head very still, and I'm just gonna move my mouth like this. Listen. What I'm trying to say is, this is what's okay. going on. Okay, okay, see, I'll move that. What about when I don't do that, I don't that's, move. Listen, that's the dude you don't fuck with, the dude that just <laughs> spews shit and doesn't move his head. He's like, listen, motherfucker, I done told you one time, too many. I done get the fuck I out of my tell face. Now, if you don't get out of my face, motherfucker, I'm going to get your face. Look, I, I will, I will bite you and everybody you know. Yeah, no, yeah, but... Yeah. Um, when a motherfucker the, don't move the, his head, ooh, you in trouble. Yeah, I'm not going to um, move my head, apparently, because I, I pixelate, but... No, you're right. I think that the bottom line is it makes it more valid, but it doesn't matter if it comes out with people that later today, let's see what happens. If it is valid, it doesn't matter. The right wing will not believe anything that is said bad about Trump. They're going to believe only good things about Trump because they think Trump is sent from God and he is the chosen one and God is the reason he's here. What kind of phone do I have? I have a Note 9 droid. And uh, Evelyn Gatlin, uh, Trump's a fucking idiot. He's a damn draft dodger. So, you know, that is uh, the pot calling the kettle uh, blacker than a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. When you, 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 when bone spurs kept you out of Nam, and for those who can't see me, I did use air quotes around those bone spurs, yeah. uh, kept him out of Vietnam, basically draft dodged. And uh, but but once they call fallen soldiers losers, um, and or or a captured soldier like um, John McCain, you know uh, a loser. You know we 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 know who this guy is, man. But um, right. 
name those sources and, and it, it's you know it's easier to pin them down i think um savage af y'all laugh factory radio powered by dash make sure you're always following at savage af radio on instagram make sure you follow at black pedro that's what make sure you follow at black pedro uh trumpy is a punk uh donnie b said underscore on donnie b you know i agree he's a punk but he also you can see that he's never sacrificed anything he's never fucking uh He's been he's lived in a bubble from his you know rich dad and he's a little bit of got a little bit of bitch in him. Um, mm -hmm. Wow, uh, Afit three six five said they killed dude that shot that dude from shooting that yeah. Trump support. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I was gonna talk about that tomorrow and I could read about it more, but you know there was a right winger who got killed uh, in Portland last week, and then the police went up to Washington and found the dude who shot him or the suspect who shot him. And, uh, they, the police shot that dude. So, you know, it's, you know, it was a, a game of, uh, duck, duck bullets. Um, and, uh, motherfuckers are getting right. tagged, but you mean the uh, dude that shot the dude that shot the other dude that shot the dude. I'm the dude that shot the dude that shot the other dude. I'm a shooter of this dude of dudes. I'm That's what happened. Shooter. I'm a shooter of shooters. So um, uh, yeah, but I, I shoot motherfuckers. I shoot. That's what I shoot. But <laughs> All right, no, so, I, I'm gonna tell you right now. Um, I I do believe the Atlantic article. I think that they do. They will. The sources. If two of them come out out of four, I will go with it full steam. Steam. Um, Biden did say if this is true, he's disgusting, and you know, and and Biden for the first time said, and by the way, Trump, you can suck my balls. And I was nice to see uh, Biden go there. And they are saggy balls, too. And they salty. So you can yeah. suck them, Trump. You like being peed on, don't suck you? Em, you like being... <laughs> suck them, suck them. You like being peed on anyway. <laughs> All right. That's so nasty. So, uh, we'll, go from, we'll go from peed on to pissed off. <laughs> yes, as, yes. Um, as, as, as the Black Lives Matter movement, uh, you know, has, has built and grown... And we've talked about that. Uh, one thing I think we all have noticed is a, a marked increase in European American faces in a, a lighter skin tone, a lighter shade. Uh, lighter than me, and that's fucking BLM. high yellow, people. I'm, and I'm and high that's, yellow. You know, that's higher than the yellow can go. Yeah. Um, yeah. But so, so he, here's this. And, and by the way, I, I found an article uh, from the LA Times online. Uh, written right. by a black woman, 25 years old, named Erin B. Logan. Um, I know her age because she identified it in the article, but um, also was just impressed with the presentation of it itself. But um, so according to, I'm reading straight from the article here, according to a June poll from Monmouth University, 49% of white Americans now say police are more likely to use excessive force against a black culprit. In 2016, that figure was 25%. But will it last, right? So, okay, so the, now white people in this moment are saying, oh, wait, the police are kind of fucked up, right? So there is a, a greater acknowledgement of that. But I think we've seen that historically, European American support for black movements, whether it's abolitionism or civil rights movement or what we're go currently going through with Black Lives Matter, that right. uh, that support hasn't hasn't lasted, and mindsets begin to change. You know what I mean? Right. Um, it fades. People go it, back. No, it, it, people go back to it. It. Right now, I saw people out marching because it was trending. A lot of people are doing it for trending. Some people are doing it for attention. Some people are doing it for whatever the case may be. But I think that uh, European Americans have a tendency to do stuff like that to jump on trends and they'll ride the trends out until the trends are fucking fade away in their mind and go, well, it did, it's, it's gone away. It's no longer happening. Everything's okay. Oh, God, my, my neighbor, Bill, he got shot. He happened to be black. But you know what? Everything's okay now. Um, it's just the same old shit. I and, just, I've seen it. The co-opting of, of anything. Yeah, and if, if, you're a, if you are European-American and you're listening right now um, and you're feeling some kind of way, uh, first of all, Fuck your feelings, okay? Fuck That's what feelings. we say here on Savage AM. Yeah. Just pull up, pull up your bootstraps, get, get big on us, and, and, and realize that, you know, while there has been an increase uh, in attention right now, um, even as we speak, 
that that level of attention is beginning to wane and understand wane. that this 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 show of white faces right it's in some ways has been counterintuitive to and, and we've had people on here have had criticisms yeah. of black lives matter um but under, we've all seen it we've all seen these faces out here and a lot of times it's you know little white girls spitting and barking at the cops on some chihuahua shit shut and, up cop you know that's you're not, not really, touch me my name is jody really, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's joe you're this, not this hit article, jody. <laughs> this article I'm, I'm just gonna i'm just gonna show you this article is like like that's the cover photo of it if you can see it's a it's a white girl just sitting naked with her whole vagina out to the police there in the background <laughs> just yeah. butt ass naked and she you know she felt some kind of you know feminism through the movement and, and felt the need to do that but really with black lives matter it's like uh baby put your pussy away <laughs> okay yeah um baby, you know what here, no but, but, but no first lady off, a majority thank you. and minority away <laughs> I yes, mean, but know, I think I'm a sure lot that, of cops were polite and said, thank you, by the way, for uh, showing us your vagina, but please put it away. Yeah. Now, I'm going to tell you right they now. Didn't, they, didn't shoot any, they didn't shoot any tear gas. They didn't shoot any tear gas yeah. at, her, uh, at her hole. You know what I'm mean? saying? They, they just they were like, sitting oh, there rubbing their, rubbing their crotch going, she good Lord. Right. She is American. She can uh, speak up with her pussy any day she wants to. God bless America. But that's, that's, what she, that's a highly privileged that's a highly privileged thing to do, right? To be out there, white, naked on the street, and just spread your pussy out in front of the cops in defiance, right? We get cracked for way less. Yeah, I mean, we just talked about yesterday, Daniel Rude, butt naked in the street, didn't live through that night, right? So um, this this type of co-opting of movements uh, they has occurred, yeah, that's continuing normal. to occur. So this I, for so for our, our our you know European Americans who are listening right now, um, yes, please don't don't get so upset about what you're hearing right now because this is not just criticism right this is constructive criticism eves right. underscore apple 7916 is in the building this is constructive criticism and a challenge that while we appreciate alliance right now you got to stick through it right this isn't a fad it's not a hashtag it's not something that's trending right yes. it's not catchy it's people's lives it it's is, it family's is lives niggas yeah, lives it's Black ass motherfuckers lives. Yeah. Every day we and we you understand for over a hundred some years these movements have been going on, right? Like this this is something that is constant in our lives. And you can walk in and out of like a hot game of double dutch, but we we are challenging you now to stay in this fight for But you know what? You it, can Pedro, you can ask. If you want to be an ask, ally, I think it's, it's going. You know, it's going to be. Friend. It's going to. It's a fast it's a cha challenge. I think. It, I think Caucasoids or Caucasians, which I'm saying the actual technical term, so it's not a diss. Caucasoids have a tendency to be like, man, you know, I'm down with you. I see that's not fair. Are you just seeing it's not fair, bitch? You ain't seen this shit wasn't fair. It's always some uproar when you fucking stub your toe. God damn it, I'm suing this company and this whole fucking burning this whole thing down. The shit that y'all get mad about compared to the shit black people get mad about is infinitesimal compared to, yeah, I use that word too. Fuck with the It's the rock in the building. I'm telling you right now, it's bullshit. And they're not going to keep riding with us. We can keep asking them. If you look at the civil rights movement, they were down, they were down. Oh shit, oh shit, friends is on. And then they didn't care anymore. And then friends showed that they didn't care because I know the entertainment business, you have to lobby for them to be diverse. You have to tell them, hey, black people actually live in New York City when you're filming something in New York City. And so I don't right. think they will. I don't think they will. I think, you know, um, Lynette uh, Dot Kamara said, fuck them or F K O. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Is, is that how you say that? And uh, Nick, fuck them. Nicole. Yeah, yeah. Fuck em. It's when you get drunk, you're like, fuck em. Uh, yeah. Nicole Sadler said, is that a real word? Uh, yes, infinitesimal is a real word. It's, it means small as shit. Real, real small, tiny, tiny. Yeah, it means tiny, tiny, tiny. Okay, next time I say uh, a Caucasoid's problem sometimes compared to black people's problems is tiny. Very, very, very tiny. I say the word tiny very, again. very, very small. Tiny. Very, very, very small. Okay. How's that? Um, 
Yeah, no, I hear you, bro. Savage AF, yeah. Factory Radio, powered by Dash. Um, so speaking of very, very small, I think uh, that very, the very size big. of the brains, the size of the brains of the people is who is running some of these uh, college football leagues. Because oh my god, night, this is the dumbest uh, shit I've football, heard in quite a while. It has kicked off now. In doing my research, okay, one of the things I found is uh, I'm gonna tell you about the games last night, okay. Right. Um, Central Tell Arkansas mm -hmm. lost, lost to the University of Alabama, Birmingham, mm -hmm. 45 to 35. Uh, simultaneously, we had uh, South Alabama putting mm -hmm. an a, a, a ass whooping. <laughs> it's going to be an ass whooping on Southern Mississippi. Okay. So, but, but, so but, 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 wait, 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 wait. But, but, but how, many, how many points did COVID get? Because COVID is definitely well, going to well, get see, more that, points than both teams. It's, okay, tell me. It's, no, of course, of course. Now, see, now that, it's going to take a while to tally that. Okay, so it's going to take yeah. a while. But one thing I yes. did notice, uh, geographically yes. speaking, okay, yes. geographically, mm -hmm, is that mm -hmm. uh, we got Central Arkansas, University of Alabama, Birmingham, South Alabama, South Mississippi. Okay, that's a lot of South. Okay, that's a whole so lot of South, south. down South. Let me tell you, how that is so playing the football. I don't even know what no. This adverb just joined, and she's south of the border. Oh, wait, Go so sit she in the corner with your lay ass. You know what time. Yes, you know what time it was. She know what now, time it so was. since you are breaking it down, ever, so you know. basically it sounds like a lot of Southern teams are playing, and they're the ones that's not wearing masks and playing football. So they probably are the dumbest teams in the world, and that's why they're playing. That's my that's my con conclusion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So 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 let me tell you let me tell you about uh, Saturday's games because you know Saturday is Saturday. football. And uh, we got Eastern Kentucky. I know that's Saturday. Yeah, Eastern Kentucky versus Marshall, Middle Tennessee yeah. versus Army, yeah. Southern yeah. Methodist University versus oh, Jackson God. State, God. <laughs> Houston Baptist ah. versus North Texas. Good God! Jeez. We got Arkansas State versus Memphis. What up, Memphis? Uh huh. Jesus. I got Stephen F. Austin, which is in Texas. That's dry rub. Oh. This is UCAP yeah. University of Texas, El Paso. That's on the border. Watch out. Well, let me tell you something. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So what you're telling me is all these hold Southern people that are playing, how soon will they be closing hold down is what you're trying to say? Is that what you're trying, what you're trying to say? Now, 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 listen listen here, Chuck, okay? Oh, Don't yes, be putting words in my mouth, listening. man. That ain't what I said. Now, that ain't what okay, I said. Okay, that's not what you said, but it sounds like what you said. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that what you sound like? Okay, go ahead, okay, 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 goddamn. Goddamn it. Jeb, pass me my corn mash. God damn it. I, I need okay, some listen, corn mash right we now. We don't have here. corn mash while we're doing Savage AF. You motherfuckers that are following us, you know that's not part of the rules. Now, yeah. I just want to know if Ole Miss going to play COVID or not. <laughs> See, ultimately, that's going to be what it is. COVID going to win every time. So yeah, they're right. That's, you know what? That's my team. That's my team right now. That's the team I think. <laughs> go COVID, I want them go to COVID, win go, all go stuff. Go COVID. Go COVID. Um, go. And COVID throws a long pass. Oh, it hits him right in the chest. Listen. By the way. You, by the way. By the way. Not, not, by the way. Not all the, not all the conferences have, have opened up, right? The, the, the bigger ones like the Big Ten, my, my, my country. Uh, you know, they, they've postponed to, until some more science comes out. They are also finding... Um, cases of recovered athletes with enlarged hearts um which is a whole new screening now that they're gonna have to do for these kids right so right. uh in all seriousness they, like you know i think in, in everything that we've done through this pandemic as a country uh these conferences that have opened up and are playing are being irresponsible right now and i, I honestly oh, think just like we're seeing on campuses in the academic setting that you, you, you're gonna get these breakouts and um, you're going to have to shut it look back at down. South, so look at North Dakota. So they can look at their South whole Dakota. Community. Right. Look at North Dakota, South Dakota. Look at what happened there. The end of the day, I'm going to give it. All right. Like, what we're going to do is we're going to go. We're going to have an auction. We're going to have an auction. We're going to find out what's going on right here. We're going to go right here. We're going to find out how soon will these football games break down. Will they, will they shut down? Will it be one day? Will it be one day? Will it be two days? What do you think? One day, two days. One week, two weeks. When do you think it's going <laughs> to shut down? Let's go. I got one day. Can I get two? Can I get two? Can I get two? 
Okay, okay, we're, we're going to find out. Come on, you, 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 you. And I think it's going to be two days. Black Pedro, what days do you think it's going to be? One, two days, a week. I think after that, they're going to shut down because COVID is going to win the battle. What do you think? Well, you know, you're sounding awfully scientific, but basically mm -hmm. what we know is that there's usually a lag between infections and outbreaks. Yeah. Okay, so people get it. But they, it's not like they get it and then just start coughing and shitting their pants, okay? And not smelling it, okay? God damn it, are you is, sure? I'm pretty sure. But what I'm saying is that in a couple of weeks, so I'm going to give them two, three games. Three games taps, and then they're going to have to shut their own back down. And somebody, who shit their pants? And it's going to be uh, the fucking Cleon, the center, who always bends over. And then you won't even know. And then it, you got COVID ass all over. Because, you know, it could give you diarrhea, take away your smell, your taste, uh, fever, all that shit, man. So... I'm going to give it three games, two, three weeks, COVID everywhere. COVID on the okay, field, on right, the ball, right, right. in between I'm the, uh, right now, the uprights. Right. All right, I'm going to say right now, right now, and I know a lot of people look like the Matrix because my screen is apparently choppy, but I'm staying as still as I can. And when I say still, it seems to be clearer than ever before. I'm going to go with one to two weeks, but... I'm going to give it three weeks, okay? I give it three weeks, three weeks tops. And after that, guess what happens? Football shuts down, and there will be no more <laughs> in the Southern Hemisphere. They said, so, they said do it like Cosell, right? <laughs> Somebody said, or Rocky LeBerry, yeah. Rocky LeBerry said, do it like, do it like. This, welcome to the COVID Bowl. Today we have Central Arkansas versus the University of Alabama, Birmingham. COVID has taken the field. In their lungs, it is scoring in droves. No, yeah, that's that's my coach. It's taken the field. It's taken the stands, but that was good for because that's a very that's an older impression. I just wanted to and do the, the referee standard football, hits the ground. old football play. Everybody, the same guy was for football. I have been pixelated for 25 minutes. I hate this. What the fuck? What the Literally. Literally. <laughs> this has just turned into. Oh, my God. You have turned into a, an Atari game. Oh, shit. And it broke. Shang them broke. Did oh, it pixelate? Yeah, did it pixelate? <laughs> you just had a what's called an IG blackout. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> he went to, is it? Is it? Is it? And then literally 35 seconds later, he was like, can y'all hear me? Um, yeah, so when we say that one team is killing another, uh, that's what's going on, y'all. Uh, you know, right. these, <laughs> the, 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 the dragons of Alabama are literally killing Central Arkansas right now. Right. Um, Team probably gonna be dead in about two weeks. So, um, yeah, just wanted to say, hey, NCAA, why not have a whole conference-wide, you know, <laughs> group-wide thing where like no football right now because then nobody, no sport is doing it like the NBA. The NBA created a bubble. They brought in the teams. Nobody gets this, goes in and out of the bubble. They they have not had an outbreak, and they are playing playoff games in the National Basketball Association because they're smart enough to do it. And all y'all want to rush is some football, football. And and I know they announced, uh, you know, a kind of alliance with one of these testing companies to have rapid tests so that teams can test on site daily. But, um, you know, testing doesn't isn't prevention. So it, it's gonna, the interaction is going to cause the spread. That's what it is. Again, uh, are you ready for some football? I, I know. Are you I have no idea what's going on. I can see it clearly when I look at my phone, and I can see it real clearly. Um, I yeah. don't know what to tell you. Is it because they now you, they I'm saying still? Miss Adverb just got... Yeah, it, it, you're a little pixelated, voice a little broken up, but I, I, I hear you, though, brother. We, we're communicating. Um, I feel like I'm talking to a... a I feel like I'm talking to a, an alien computer from another planet, you know, like some okay. robot society that's come here, and they're like... Are, are you Earthling? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. No, I got, I got, I got what you're saying. I am Earthling. Um, Can you do it to, like, anybody, just real quick, um, hates Shang Savagery. IG hates, hates me. Uh, can you do it through the computer? Is there anybody that has the information 
or I can do it through my IG online. Can you do it that um, way? Yeah, you 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 need software. People said they can't like, hear me. Yeah, you, you're you're back now. Your voice is back now. Um, <laughs> Donnie said 1984. Yeah, I'm just talking to Big Brother over here. Um, or like the computer from uh, 2001, A Space Odyssey. <laughs> Open the pod doors, um, Hal. Open the pod doors. Oh wow. They they okay. Shane D D Fay Eleven said she loves you, pixels and all. So don't worry, man. Oh, that's it's nice of you, but the shit ain't supposed to be doing that, and I don't understand what the fuck's going on. We got you. We got you clearly now. You, you you're back. You're back. You're back. So um, speaking of pissed off, man, let let you know I'm 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 wishing these kids. Uh, the best of health. And we know that it's not typically tearing through that age group of college football players, but complications, after effects, enlarged hearts, things are happening that, right. you know, I don't want to see any of them exposed to. So, uh, you know, as much as I love football, I got to say I am upset that it has kicked off uh, college wise. Um, another upsetting thing, Savage AF, that factory radio powered by Dave. Hey, why don't I try holding a hanger? That's fucked up. <laughs> hold still, hold still. I Junior, still, hold uh, still, I still owe Stand like three hundred dollars, two hundred dollars on this phone. I'm not gonna go get another phone when I paid this phone off. That it, I feel you, bro. You're gonna have to get another phone later. Okay, you can't have it forever. God damn it. It's a, it's a, it's, it's okay. I'm just okay with you. I hate it. All right, so, 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 uh. You know, speaking of opening up too early, going at it too hard, uh, we are in a three-day weekend um, for those who are even working. Um, Labor Day is coming up. Huge holiday in, in my hometown of Detroit. Um, you know, it is a labor town. Every meal I ate as a, as a child and all the way through college when my mom was paying for my life was brought to right. us by the, by the UAW via General Motors, Okay. But all the benefits my mother had, uh, any pay raises or um, pay cuts that they fought off came through solidarity with the UAW. With the, um, with, every, yeah, with the, pertaining to the unions. So, so, so Labor Day is huge for us. That, that's a, a big old holiday. Parades, barbecues, getting it in. It's a, the end of the, it's a symbol for the end of summer. Um, but in, the, in this day and age, 2020, Pandemic, <laughs> pandemic, goddamn demic. I need y'all yeah. to stay y'all asses at home this weekend. Yeah, but right? you know what? Mr. Adverb said it family. right. We've been on a three day weekend since <laughs> March. <laughs> She's right. Just saying. I get it. For some of you, know, stay your ass in the house. I'm, but I'm not staying in the house. I'm going out and I'm going I'm to go kill the people who made my droid. Fuckers. Um, I'm not, yeah, I, you know what? I hate you. I hate you too, Miss Ever. Um, I hate you. I hate, I hate Droid. I hate all of this. But no, I think that a lot of people are going to stay in. I think that the first two times of them going out and fucking around and getting done, getting done in by um, COVID, people are going to this time go, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't do that. But there are going to be a select few of people that, that feel like it's my right as a God given American to get out there and. Whack COVID right up my bunghole. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some COVID right up my bunghole. So I already know that's going to happen. But I'm saying, put it this way. All people of color, all people of color, say your ass home. <laughs> yes. You get barbecue in the backyard. Uh, my grandfather yeah. used to build his own barbecues out of bricks and a, and a grate. <laughs> they can put a, a grate over some bricks and some coals inside that. Queuing. You queuing right now, baby. So right. you ain't got to I mean, go it's, nowhere. It's ain't no party going on. Fuck the white, fuck the white party this year. First of all, you know good and goddamn well you didn't get your beach party together. All right, all right. Since March, your three day weekend ass. All right, we we didn't nobody locked it down. My shit ain't plaque out, plaque out, plaque out. Okay, and my shit ain't either. So ain't no just stay your ass at home. Okay, you got a pool in your apartment building. Maybe you could lounge by that, but don't 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 be L.A. to Vegas in your ass nowhere. Arizona out here licking COVID in the mouth. All right, don't do it. Stay your ass at home, okay? This is, right. fuck, fuck this Labor Day weekend, all right? CBA 313 said there ain't no parade this year. That 313 is Detroit, baby. That's our area code. So if we're going to call off the Labor Day parade in Detroit, in Detroit, 
then y'all motherfuckers can stay home and throw them floppy ass hot dogs on your homemade grill and just get it in. Right. Man. Just get it in. At the crib. Appreciate your family. Appreciate your family. God damn. Wow. Where you gonna go anyways? Where you gonna go? Don't go nowhere. You didn't do it. Miss Eve's Apple, the only one got her beach body together. I saw you pick we saw your pictures. Bro. Yeah, Eve, 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 Eve Apple is the only one breaking up marriages and and, and, and <laughs> fucking up men's girlfriends <laughs> like girlfriend. I saw you look at her. I saw you look at her. I'm gonna right. fuck you up. Yeah, that type of but shit. Eve, but so. but Eve got apples, okay? Not all y'all got apples. Some some of us got watermelons and, and, and bananas and uh, mangoes and you know what I mean, just dragon fruit. I know some of y'all out there got dragon fruit. Yeah. So keep that dragon fruit at home. It's good for you. Not for everybody else, all right? Stay your ass at home. Stay your wow. ass at home. Not everybody got apples. Let me let, right. let me say something because it's getting on my nerves. And by the way, definitely stay your ass at home. We're gonna end on the boat, uh, Texas. But this is the thing, all right. First off, y'all ain't gonna keep dissing me in my fucking Wi-Fi, okay? Okay, <laughs> that's first off. First off, if y'all can hear me, I'm a man, I'll nigga. A man, but... I'm, I'll pay for this shit. Can you hear me? Because they keep saying, can't yeah. hear me. Can I'm behind no, a fuzzy you, wall. We got Is it still there. pixelated and fucked up? A little bit. So every now and then, it goes in and out. Don't worry about it, dog. Work through it, bro. Relax, relax. relax. Oh, no, it's going to be we, worked through. The message there ain't is no coming question through, about that. I, 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 I swear to God on, on everything I love. But uh, you yeah. know what? I'm going to compound for, for the people that can not hear me and kind of see me. And Teddy Riley, Wi-Fi, I, you know. The Wi-Fi is dissing you. Okay, Minecraft Shang. All y'all motherfuckers want to say little Shang. words. Okay, that's... You know what? Okay, y'all getting too witty. Uh, you know now. what? Y'all getting too witty. I, 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 you can hear me. If y'all can hear me, uh, please, please know that this will never happen again. I'm sick of this shit. I will trade this motherfucking phone in, and I mean it. As soon as we get done with this shit, I got a, I got an online show to do, and I'm gonna go to the fucking store. And I'm getting this done. This shit will end. Now, the go. other thing I got to tell y'all, <laughs> the other thing I got to tell y'all is all you people that feel like, oh man, it's only, uh, this is the only weekend where it's three days. There'll be other fucking days. Okay? Stay home, stay safe, or if you do go out, don't be around people more than 10 people. That's what it's basically telling you. They've been telling you, the scientists have been telling you, you stupid motherfucker. So don't do that shit. Yeah, and, and somebody said, and, it the, might and the reality, be where I'm and the reality, the reality. Now I'm Pac Man. You know, America. The reality is, America is not closed. You know what I'm saying? Like, there are, and you can sit in there being a hot spot. Uh, Iowa being a hot spot, they don't want to close their bars. They want to keep all of that shit going. So. You know, it, 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 you know, we we've had such poor leadership on all levels, depending on where you live, that um, it really is up to us, each other as citizens, to make proper decisions about our own communities. So I need y'all to be smart this weekend, for real, for real, and stay, yo, know, black, European, Puerto Rican, Dominican, um, half French, Creole ass home. Okay, I don't care what's in your blood, native. Native your ass on them lands that they left you and just stay there. Okay. Go. It's not gonna be that. So I'm gonna go. breath. It's gonna be you know what? You're basically hey, gonna be the in, go you're gonna be the NCAA of your fucking neighborhood. You know. Exactly. Don't do that. What's happen. You're I think you should go down. back to where you just were. Where was that? I feel like it got worse where wherever you just moved. I think you didn't you move I think go back to where you were because it, it got it got a little bit worse. Um, yeah, man. Um, but that being said, <laughs> speaking of things getting worse, um, if you don't take your ass out and vote uh, this uh, 2020 election cycle um, and we'll wait for Shane to come back from Pixel Space, um, you know. Oh, you you're call almost on. back. You call for a second. Almost there back. You go. I almost heard a sentence. We good. <laughs> oh, I paused. <laughs> All right, my bad. Um, so, uh, speaking of shit going south, uh, we gotta, you gotta get your ass out and vote, or else it's gonna go souther. Most souther than it's already south. All right, so uh, what, one of our focuses now is, is to inform, especially in swing states, how you can um, 
vote early. Um, first of all, register. Um, request absentee ballots uh, if you if you don't feel safe going out to the polls. Which right. Nobody else. Help honestly older should. people vote. Um, Help older people that want to vote yeah. vote. And and I'm you know I'm not I'm not so sure honestly that that today's topic Texas is going to actually be a swing state. Um, typically very red and uh, you know the, you know I doubt if that's going to change this time around. But I do know that there are a lot of black people in Texas, and I know that a lot of black people uh, watch and follow this show, and we appreciate that. So uh, I like to disseminate that information out to you, Texas, especially my black people out there to participate, be a part of it, know that your ancestors fought for your, your right to do this as a citizen of this country. They fought for you to become a citizen of this country and you are obligated. Do you hear me, my dude? You are obligated to exercise that right on behalf of your ancestors. Don't be a sellout, homie. So in Texas, the deadline to register, hey, you need to make sure you are registered to vote is once again, October 5th. This is a magic number, 10-5, okay? October 5th is when is that deadline to register to vote in Texas. Make sure you confirm that vote is your second, uh, or confirm that registration, okay, so that you know that you are registered in that state. Um, right. Of course, vote, right, that's election day. You can wait, wait, vote by wait, mail. Wait, 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 what day? Oh. oh, my bad, dog. You broke you, you you broke up a bit. You broke up a bit. Try that again, side. Ah. You're not coming through uh, vocally, Shane. Lord, this is turning. I, I know, man. I, oh. I, I, you know. <laughs> Don, Donnie's getting scared. She's like, OMG, Shane, it's getting worse. <laughs> I know. I don't know what the. Yeah, it is what it is. I heard that. I heard that. All right, so. Uh, okay, so. Um, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, nah. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna push through this information, Shane, and because cause I gotta go to work today, so it's you know, it's one of them things. He'll, he'll be it'll, it'll come back. I, I know we have faith. I see a little bit more now. Okay, I see you. All right, yeah, looking a little bit better, looking better. All right, so, uh, you can, and this is the first state that we've encountered in this. We've talked about Florida and Georgia. Uh, in Arizona uh, this week. Um, but this is the first state that's done this. So you can vote by mail for specific reasons. Uh, and it is a hyperlink for those specific reasons. Let me see. What are some of these specific reasons? Um, so to be eligible to vote early by mail in Texas, you must be 65 years or older, be disabled, be out of the county on election day and during the period for early voting by personal appearance or be confined in jail, but otherwise eligible. So that's Texas for you, baby. They, they gonna let you vote early, but uh, you know, it ain't gonna, it ain't quite the same. So you gotta have specific reasons in Texas. So apparently most of y'all won't probably won't be able to do that um, by mail. Um, so that being said, November 3rd is your day, but early voting uh, begins, and this is the earliest I've seen, begins October 13th, um, all the way through Friday, October 30th. So right. while there are restrictions on mail-in voting in Texas, uh, you got to be older than 65, disabled, uh, what did it say, in jail, but still eligible, and I forgot what the, uh, uh, or be out of the county on election day or during the whole early voting time. So, yeah, basically the only way if you're under 65, not in jail and uh, not disabled, that you can vote by mail in Texas is if you're just not going to be in your county, uh, <laughs> basically from October 13th through November 3rd. Um, 
But and make sure you, you vote, can vote early. early. Look, yeah. At the end of the early. day, look up, uh, look it up online. Look it up online and vote early. Period. There you go. Vote early because they're going to try to fuck you. If you do it late, they're going to try to fuck you. They fuck you at the drive thru. They've been fucking you at the drive thru. They fuck you. Yeah. So don't get fucked by you not getting a vote. Okay? Vote early as you can. Americans, as somebody said. Okay, now I'm back. I don't see. Donnie, I, and he's back. gone. No, no, I'm no, back. He's back. Um, you, can, he's back. you can barely see me, and it's fine. That's whatever. We're going to get through it anyway. Um, it's a miracle. Shut up, shut your mouth, <laughs> shut up, shut up, you. <laughs> All you people, shut your mouth. Um, but no, I, I we give you information these days, but we got to let you know. All the shit we're saying, end of the day, you got to do it early. Early, 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 period. Yeah. It's you, early. Miss, if you don't Miss do it Nick, early, you're going to be fucked. Yeah, Miss Nick 2016 gets it. I'm going as soon as polls open. So, everybody, Everybody, everybody. Uh, we're going to keep giving everybody, this information. Everybody. Especially, especially for uh, these swing states. But, um, but yeah, you know, everybody in your state, if you're not in one of them, you know, California, always going to go blue. And, you know, that's just what we do out here. But Well, uh, well going uh, California going to go blue, but it's going to go blue. But we, we got a couple states uh, that are going to actually out. close to turning either purple or they're going to flip. So I mm -hmm. want... All you Democrats, you bitch ass, pussy ass Democrats, to stop bitching. If you really down, go out there full blast. All you black people, man, I ain't voting. I don't like either one of them. You want Trump more? You want four more years of that shit? You ain't, you ain't you gotta know what? Like you ain't gotta like him. You ain't gotta like him. And Biden actually showing some decent decency lately, and he is doing a pretty good job. So you got to give him uh, a little bit of credit. So stop that shit. Because if you don't vote early, I told you, you got to listen to me. They'll fuck you at the drive through They fuck you. You think you got the fucking food you want to get to your house? You got goddamn cheeseburgers missing. Don't let that happen. <laughs> Sorry. That's right. Sorry. No, I feel you, bro. I'm right with you. I'm right with you. The flip down, in that man. Essence. It's this whole Wi Fi no, man, thing. It's fucking with my head. <laughs> Why not Fi, huh? Um, yeah, no, this shit and, is. So, yes. Somebody called it Lego. Uh, Jay Fit called it uh, Lego Wi Fi, which is fucked up. <laughs> it's all good, man. We 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 are Savage AF. We, we fight through all obstacles to bring this to you live <laughs> on Instagram Monday through Fridays. Monday and Friday we're on 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Tuesday through Thursday we are on at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, and we thank all our listeners out there in podcast land for uh, for following us. And if you're not, make sure you do that wherever you get your podcast. Um, and if this shit sounds weird right now in podcast land, that's because we're we're in a weird ass time. So fuck your feelings. Yes. Get your shit together, uh, man and woman up, and just keep listening. Okay. God damn it. And we, we we're gonna keep right. and, improving and, even and bringing you pixelated. quality. But the yeah, people that I want to address, the people that are saying they're more scared. Of, okay, somebody said that uh, Lynette.Kamara says some people are saying they're more afraid of Biden than they are of Trump, which is nuts. And we should, we should say it's nuts. We should say anybody that says that dumb shit is nuts. To say that they even are close yeah, I, to the same is fucking nuts. <laughs> Trump is a pathological I, I a would. fucking psychopath. Period. Okay, he's been that. He's a narcissistic, fucking pathological, xenophobic, yeah, I'm going to say a xenophobic, racist, cunty, cunt, orange person that has been living as a fucking man-child his entire adult life and has never taken any accountability for anything. So, if that's what you right. fucking want, and all you people that vote him in, every time I see you, I'm going to punch you in your motherfucking face. How about that? <laughs> that <laughs> Um, also, That's also, the new thing. Also, if you voted for Trump, I'm punching you in your motherfucking face. <laughs> also, keep in this, mind that um, great, great strategy, right? By the way, you're gonna you're gonna touch a lot of people. <laughs> um, yes. The, also, keep in mind, guys, that uh, and I, I've said this the whole time that Trumpy Dumpty, he he's not your real problem, right? Your real problem are his supporters, okay? It's the Kevins, it's the Karens, it's the cracker-minded coon hounds that go out there 
and right. get drummed up by all of his racist jargon, right? So the allowance of him another four years is, is just a, a fanning of that flame. It's just, you, you, you're just throwing wood into the racist cracker fire. Uh, and as a person of color, a black person, I, I don't know how you could possibly look yourself in the mirror Right. Knowing that you didn't, you didn't do anything politically to fight that. You know what I mean? So while, while Joe Biden might not be, um, you're absolutely, and, but okay, so Time Soon said Biden supporters are racist too. There are supporters of everything in America. It's America. There's some racism everywhere. But the majority of Trump supporters are mongoose minded, dick posse ass clan fuck nerds you know what i'm saying right. so and a majority of a majority of Trump supporters are caucasoid or european american very like, the openly, majority. Too. openly though like they right. they are reveling in in the confederate flag right so that that's not a biden supporter that's not a widespread democratic stance from the dnc like that's not but it's the RNC, not. shut your mouth dumpty dumpty administration has fully embraced that so like just understand, you could pick, you could, yes, yes. There's racism everywhere, dog. Whatever store you went to today to get whatever you got times, times two, it, it, there was racism there. Did you go to Walmart? Did you go to the corner store? There's racist people, to people that are probably. Office? You know what? Did Somebody you built your baby, baby, your baby's carriage. Guess what? Probably a racist, racist fucking nigger. Racism, fucking, I got to build this nigger baby carriage. This is bullshit. Even if they don't know who his soul was sold to. There's a lot of people that are racist. We get that. But the majority, we go by it. That's a false equivalency to even bring up. Well, there's Biden got racist people too. Shut the fuck up. Let me tell you something. That's not the case. You yeah. understand? I'm going to say it again. Anybody out there, if you're black, white, Asian, Hispanic, y'all don't give a damn. If I find out that you voted for Trump, I'm going to walk up to you and I'm going <laughs> to punch you in your motherfucking face. Right. And and pixelate so, that uh, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, time time two said racism exactly so racism don't scare me. Um right, right. But uh, the point is what kind of racism do you want? And this is this is one thing I've always preferred growing up in the north is that the racism that we faced in the north uh told those white people to shut the fuck up. Like, they don't say nigger out loud. They didn't when I grew up. <laughs> and if they did, they got banked hard, my dude. Right. Um, but down south, down south, they'll do weird shit. Like, y'all niggers want some pie? And like, yeah, I want some pie, but not like that. You don't know come. what I'm saying? Yeah, so, not, yeah. Not, and that pie not. looks delicious, so, but I don't know if I so, want it. Okay, okay, Shawnee, Shawnee says she's going for see, Trump. I don't want open, he, say, he says open racist, please. Nah, I don't want that. That's okay, Shawnee Elizabeth. Gets that's how Black Pedro gets murder charges. <laughs> with yes. open racism turns into violence yeah, that's really quickly with me. So, like, I ain't with that. Like, I, I'd yeah. rather they at least know to shut their fucking mouth. I can see it in your face. I see it in your body language. That's open enough for me. You, when they clutch the purse. I don't need no more. They, yeah, they, why do we need more? The story, that's, oh, that's way open racism, dog. Once you open your mouth with foul words, right. teeth get lost. Teeth get right. lost. If you open okay. your mouth, you open the ambulance door to put you in. That's what it's <laughs> That's called. What the fuck is I'm wrong with you? And Shawnee, Elizabeth, too, like, if you are voting for Trump, uh, guess what, Shawnee? I would never hit a She's woman. She's Bermudan. So, uh, but you know She's what? Bermudan, when I see you, Shawnee, I'm punching you in your motherfucking face. <laughs> <laughs> like, you going to have to deal with Johnny since they come in too, <laughs> That's gonna be our new T-shirts. If you vote for Trump, I'm punching you in your motherfucking face. That's our new T-shirts. <laughs> Open racism. You what do you mean? You mean America? You mean America? Yeah, yeah of course, it, America. It, America you know, been it, racist. It, it, it's so open. Surprise! I, I just shut your fucking mouth. Amer American is America is so openly racist that sh shut your fucking mouth. You don't have to say a word. Call me, nigga. Right. See what happens, dog. Like, do it. Do it. Okay, that, that's right. all I'm saying. So, because the covert racism, it's not covert, dog. It's really not. Like, I grew up in, right. I grew up in the all black, I grew up in the blackest city in America, my nigga. You see what this says? You see that? Like, 
Bro, yes. But outside and of Shawnee that, Elizabeth, outside, I'm kidding. Everywhere, everywhere outside of Detroit, Cracker Town. Cracker Town, Cracker Town, Cracker Town. Oh, no, right Cracker around. Town, no, Michigan, Michigan is filled with Cracker Towns. But Eliz Shawnee Elizabeth, oh, you know I wouldn't punch you in the face. But if you got a relative, a dude that voted for Trump, I'm going to punch him in the face and say, this is for you, Shawnee. And, and, and then he's going to go down. So and I just, I, I want you to know, know what? And Pedro got a list. But Pedro, Pedro got Gertrude. He ain't going for that open racism shit. Gertrude. If somebody came to uh, Pedro's house and knocked on the door and say, "Get out here, nigger," you know who's coming out first? Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not Elizabeth. Bruce. No, Gertrude. Bruce. 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 No, Bruce. Right through the door. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna be looking through. Shawnee, you know, Shawnee, you know, Shawnee, you, know, you know, you won't just slap dance. Um, wait till, <laughs> wait till Leviathan get here, nigga. Wait till Leviathan. Oh, I know. And and yeah, Miss Abber. Um, Miss Abber. They'll be questioning my blackness, goddammit. I wouldn't call myself Black Pedro if I wasn't black. Yeah, it's not okay. even Also, I was never, not even I'm not hitting no women. I ain't hitting no women, so that y'all need to chill. I ain't going to do no shit. I was joking. I ain't punching no Trump supporters in the face. I'm too old for that shit. But what I will do is I will run them over with my car because they've been running over us with their car, so it's our turn. They did it in Charlottesville. They did it in fucking New York City. Guess what happens? Now it's car, vehicle, or car side. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and and whoever's voting for Trump on here, I hope y'all get syphilis, herpes, gonorrhea, COVID, um, AIDS. <laughs> Pixelate that, motherfuckers. All in one package. In, in yeah. an anthrax envelope. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm tripping because I figured nobody... I'm a robot right now anyway. This ain't even me. This is another person. <laughs> Shang it, It's probably still fucked up. And no, it came back. It actually came back. It was pixelated. You okay. were real pixelated, Pedro. And then you were clear as... as not clear as day because I don't even know. Um, and, and Eve, I don't know what all of these faces were for. The sad faces. Don't be that. And Uncle Stanley would never Shani, stab you, Sean. I would never stab you unless you Shani wanted to said, stab I'm trying me. To be... <laughs> oh, see? Uh, Shawnee said see she, me she anyway. wants to be... She... <laughs> I'm trying to be publicity mag. Don't do that, Shawnee. Come back. Come back to the light. Don't walk towards the darkness. <laughs> what happened? Um, oh, but yeah. Uh, you know, that, what, is, what, is, what is Eve? Eve is saying, can y'all see me? Yeah, you can't even you. see me, Eve. You. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> they're they're flying by today. Um, but uh, Eve, the... we always know you right. Okay, she Eve, right? About... What you gonna? She what said she, gonna say? she worries I'm, about. I... She said she worries about her boys every day, and we know Eve's uh, in Arkansas, right? So, you know, I, to be honest, man, I, I you know I love this country, but uh, the South is is a scary place for me, man. I don't, I do not. Like, I, you know, there's just a cultural thing down there outside of Miami <laughs> and shit like that where I'm just like, ah, yeah, they don't act I, right. No, you know what? I like, like the yeah, South. Yeah, I, I, I like the South. Mm -hmm. I like... I like the South I'm about, a lot. I'm talking about European Americans down there. I'm like, I don't like... I know. That. I like the South a lot. I've had good times in the South. I'm just saying the South does have some catching up to do with, I don't know, reality. Um, uh, a lot of people in the south. south, yeah, a lot of people in the south are just not caught up with the reality, and a lot of them are buying into the racist bullshit, and they're still into that Confederate mentality. So we get that. But and again, anybody I offended, um, I apologize sincerely. And fuck, if your, I offended and you. fuck your feelings at the same time. You know, yeah, and at the same <laughs> time, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and even make sure you don't hate white people because. We know it's not all of them, but I, I totally get that you are in hostile lands uh, with, with young black men to raise. And, um, you know, we, uh, of course, all of our good energy is with you and all the other uh, ki queens and kings out there trying to keep, you know, that next generation of black people in America safe. Um, but this, this turned into an interesting topic that I hadn't foreseen is, is this idea of <laughs> open racism versus more covert and I think my reality, what I've come to understand in, in conversing with you guys about it is that it is all very overt in America, okay? From the laws, CBA 313, uh, uh, big up me other, um, a little while ago and, and understands that once you leave Detroit, we're going to get profiled, right? So there, there really is no covert 
racism in America. Like, it, 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 it is a country that has thrived on it. It, it gained all it of its thrived, wealth. It's fiber. So it's built on. Sports. It was built on, yeah, it was built on the, the sweat and back of other people doing their work. Um, they, they talk about how, you know, exemplary they are. And that's another word I just used today. But they're not because if you can't mm. just win, Nigga, you can't win. Yeah, I'm, I'm hitting them with him because you know what it is. I'm pixelated. I fuck with the pixels. Um, no, I'm just letting y'all know right now. We already know that. The fact that the president wants to cheat to win, to do anything to deter people from voting, which people died for, to get the right for, we already know that they have something that's missing in their soul. There's a, there's a portion of Americans that have something that's missing in their soul and have to put it on other people. That's what people do. But humans do that, but they do it to in a greater extent than other races. Because why do they feel the yeah. need to subjugate us constantly? Why can't they just be like, let you be you and I'll be me and let us both go for whatever our goal is. And if we do get it, cool. If we don't, you try hard again and get it again. But they don't let that happen. You know what they do? They try to do right. other shit. There's a double standard. What's up, Sue? There's a double standard where if I go out and, and me and Pedro, we, we was at the Ethiopian joint eating and a cops come by, they can harass us and there could be a person right next to us in the table eating and they have to be a cockazoid. And guess what happens? They get nothing. It's a double standard. We know that. We already know that. So stop it. And all you motherfuckers keep Absolutely. bringing up all these other fucking, oh, yeah, well, what about this? What about that? No, there is no what about. There isn't, yeah. But that's like when they say something bad about somebody Caucasian, and then you say, well, what about black people who kill people? Oh, uh, we ain't talking about that right now. We talk about these people. And their open 85%. racism is constant. 85% of uh, white people who are murdered are murdered by other white people. It's called white on white crime or crime because <laughs> that's how it goes. Or just crime. But we're, we're labeled that's black. We're black on black crime. We're, we're labeled thugs, um, criminals, killers. And what do you say about the criminals, killers that just happened where someone he found out that it was somebody that happened to be white that killed somebody that was white? Okay, that's what's happening. If somebody white, yeah, yeah. okay, that's my, just, okay, that's my just Wi-Fi is not dispute, working. Shane. That's just a domestic huh? dispute, Shane. Come on, that's not white on white. Yeah, that's, that's, that's I, I, I'm sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. Come on, man. Come on. Um, yo, so I think I think we have finally reached the status, or at least you have, where uh, Instagram, although they want to pixelate. They're just they're letting us go more than an hour, dog. That's cool. Yeah, we're at we're yeah. at six minutes yeah, past. No it's four oh six. And you and you haven't gotten any countdown. Unfortunately, today I have to go to work. But yes, I would love to test this out next week and do some extra time and just see how much uh, Instagram lets us go. Uh, what's up, Saluminati? We see you, girl. We missed you today. We would love to have your voice. Well, you know what? Um, anybody who can hear me, I guarantee that I will make sure that I can get this as fixed fixed as possible. Before it was clear as fuck. Everybody that was on here, it, it was clear as fuck. Before I have no what. No reason to tell you any otherwise. I am going to get it fixed, and that's it. So, Savage that's AF it. brought to you by the world famous Slack Factory because Pedro has to go to work and I have to go kill the AT and T. I don't want to kill the people at AT and T, but they get on my nerves. So, I'm going to go do that. And what we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll be back? We'll, we'll be back what Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday? Uh, no, we'll be back Monday for sure. Uh, let's do it, and and. And we're going to come back and make sure our asses are at home and not out at the beach right. or the cookout or the goddamn sock hop or whatever the fuck is going on in your goddamn town. Stay your ass at home this holiday weekend. And, and, and that's, that's it. That's all we need. Right. Guys. Stay home. Stay safe. All right. So we can keep doing this next week, y'all. We, we will do. see you Monday, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We got that's you. That's what it is. All right. Savage. Deuces. Oh, boy. Now it's... <laughs>